Hi, I'm Brian with Green Hat Kiteboarding, and today I'm going to go over trainer kites. Um, just give you little differences on why you might want to choose a different trainer kite. Uh, these four trainer kites all come with control bars. The Ozone Uno does not come with a control bar. Um, first, we have the HQ Flux. We have the HQ Rush, the Rush Pro. We have the HQ Hydra, and we have the Ozone Uno here. So you're going to see different sizes when choosing a trainer kite. Uh, some kites come in different sizes, 1.8 meter, 2, 3, 3.5 3 meter. The smaller kites are going to be better for higher winds, like 15 mile an hour winds are higher. And then like say like a 3.5 meter kite or a 4 meter kite is going to be better in super light winds, like 6, 7 mile an hour winds, all the way up to 15, 20 mile an hour winds still. But they'll be a little bit better for the super light winds. So all these trainer kites are going to teach you the basic skills of flying a kite. They all have a little bit different features, uh, which may help uh, your trainer kite experience uh, be a little better, uh, but they're all going to do the, teach you the same skill. First we have the HQ Flux here. It's a two-line kite. Next we have the HQ Rush. Uh, this is also a two-line kite. It's a, it's a little more durable kite, a little bit easier to relaunch. And it's also going to come with this safety leash. We have the HQ Rush Pro. This one's uh, got even better material, so it's going to be a little more durable during crashes. It's a three-line kite, which will make it much more easy for relaunches. Uh, it does have a leash as well. We have the HQ Hydra. This kite, it's a three-line kite as well. It has a leash. And this kite, actually, the cells close on it, so you could actually use this over the water. This, uh, this one could be flown over the water, it'll relaunch. It's not really ideal for kiting with a board, uh, but for doing body drags and stuff, you can, um, it's a great kite. Uh, last, we have the Ozone Uno. This is an inflatable kite. It's the only inflatable kite of all the trainer kites. It does not come with a bar, so you would have to purchase a regular four-line control bar separately. It does increase the price of the overall trainer kite, but in the end, you'll have a control bar that you can use once you go to purchase a full kite, full-size kite. Uh, the Ozone Uno, it's best to fly it over the water. You don't really want to crash it on land, so if you're going to be flying a kite on land, I wouldn't recommend the Uno but the UNO could also be used on super windy days or for lighter people.